All right, uh, it's going to be a quick uh, addendum to the uh, gravity's watery grave and the uh, gravitation fabrication uh, based on a, a rebuttal I got. Now, I knew if, at first um, there were going to be gaps or holes that the uh, trolls could exploit or the paid trolls with their official answers. So um, I'm definitely willing to um, take even a closer look because we know it's bullshit. But um, to look even more into it, uh, the guy says, uh, in your previous video, you made a big mistake about the fictitious force as you did not study what a fictitious force is. It is a force that is not real, but the opposite force is real. <laughs> First of all, yeah, exactly. It's not real. That was the point. Like when your car accelerates, you feel like there is a force coming from the front of your car that is pushing you in your seat. That is the fictitious force. So, yeah, what he's saying is, well, that's what we refer to when we say fictitious force. Um, when you suddenly accelerate, it pushes you back. There's really no force pushing you back. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There is no force, so why posit something called gravity? You fabricated something called gravity to account for a reaction. That's the ultimate point. But, in fact, it is the car seat that is pushing from the back of your car into your back. That is the real force of course gravity according to Einstein is the same we feel like the earth is pulling us to the center but in fact gravity is pushing us to the center first of all we don't feel like the earth is pulling us to the center <laughs> especially mosquitoes and uh but in fact gravity is pushing us to the center so what they're saying is now um it's not really pulling us to the center actually turns out Gravity is pushing us from the outside in. So suddenly the planets were formed from the outside in. This is really stupid now. Uh, with the gravitational from the inside out, you get the planets coalescing from, the, from a center point, a gravitational point, some arbitrary point in the vacuum that everything coalesces, all the matter coalesces, the rocks, the lava, supposedly. Um, it coalesces at a gravitational point. But now what they're saying is, well, um, actually it's from the outside in. So this is really a haphazard thing. But in the end, Einstein did tell the people that gravity is real, only working differently than we thought. Again, these are his theories. Well, yeah, so they're just theories. So what are you, why are you telling me these theories like they're facts and like I'm so wrong? But like I said, it's a fictitious force. It's a force. You're just naming something. Uh, you're positing your uh, absurdities onto something, which is plainly a reaction. So fail. Uh, another comment here, he says, you tell that the gravitational constant can't be measured, but when you read the wiki page, it says the following. The gravitational constant is a physical constant that is difficult to measure with high accuracy. Actually, I did quote that. And that's my point. It can't be measured. You're telling me something that constructed the whole universe can't be measured? <laughs> so it tells that it is possible to measure it, but that it is hard to do so. Um, yeah. Why would it be hard to measure something that constructed the whole universe You're talking about the most powerful force in the universe this is the god of the uh scientism is gravity but we can't measure it so this is a religion we can't man we can't see it we can't uh we can't but we just have to have faith there's nothing wrong with faith but just admit that you guys have faith and yes the force gravity is weak but it's like many weak persons can still move a heavy stone no a weak person cannot move a heavy stone what do you mean a heavy stone they can pick up a gravel, but they can't. A weak person cannot move a heavy stone. So if gravity is weak, it is minuscule. It is nearly non-existent. As a matter of fact, it is non-existent. Anyway, so why should the weak force of gravity not be able to hold all the water to the Earth when the Earth has a large mass? Um, because gravity is too weak. That's why. Um, the gravity holding me supposedly to the ground right now is supposedly weak uh but uh the water the body of water adjacent to me is you know being held held fast by this weak force it doesn't make sense this is hocus pocus um it is all in numbers you know <laughs> more scientism see uh we're supposed to throw out observation and go with these stupid numbers then you do the gravitational constant in Planck units when the constant is 1. And then you tell that the equation on top that is not in Planck units, you can substitute the G for 1, 2. That is wrong and you know it. 
Now, um, when I mentioned the Planck units, uh, can be reduced to one on uh, the natural units. He's saying you can't substitute that. You must use the original equation, which uh, even they admit it cannot be calculated accurately. And Cavendish couldn't find a number for it. Nobody can find a number for it. It's just this weird looking equation with the um, with the uh, n placed in it for newtons, which is also arbitrary. So it's just this it's this wishy washy uh, equation with uh, no number. Uh, but supposedly this is the constant that created the universe. This constant force, which they can't equate. It's too weak to equate. And no, you can't omit a small force at all. Really. A small force as the force of two one kilogram balls one meter apart is still a force. What force? See, here they go again. They're just, um, it could be, it's just a um, natural reaction. We're talking about natural laws of flat earth. Here they go with this, uh, the force, the force. What force? When we use two balls of 1,000 kilograms and one meter apart, the force will be more. No, the fuck it won't. Just like two buildings uh, apart don't have any gravitational force between them. There's no absurdity of action at a distance. You're just saying things. So, um, no, it won't. When we take the mass of the earth, then the force is something to take into account. When you jump from a high building, what? No, that's called acceleration. 9.8 meters a second. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it again here you go with the force this fictitious force so in the end this is not a real proof that gravity does not exist it is proof that you twist the facts to see into a conclusion you like to see uh, no it's proof that is weak minuscule um, ie non-existent and you are promoting this absurdity of action at a distance uh, with no medium even your uh, god or savior Einstein admitted that 